Hello. Why are you here? Yep, we're doing this. Cause I feel like it. And Bannerlord's been pissing me off. Now, unlike Bannerlord, not gonna sit here explaining a bunch of stuff before we get going. I would like to look over options real quick, cause this game has plenty of options you need to keep your keep an eye on. Um, this is not a heavily modded uh, playthrough. I have mods in, in the game, yes. Uh, as you can see, they are all cosmetic and just optimizing, like, let's remove effects and stuff, compress textures, got a nice map, the UI is not what it is, and I have idols. So, not a lot there. This is all what we want, yes. Uh, we'll just keep this member from it where it is. This is all fine. This baseline, yada yada. Um, and no, character creation, we're not going to sit there for that long. Because this game is cool. And you can just save your character presets. I'm going to go ahead and start a new game. And me being me, yes, we're going to have a hard start because I feel like it. Uh, most of these aren't changing. This is going up, this is going up, and this is going up. This is just all, how long does it take to do things? Um, much like Banner Lord, this is going to be slow. Very slow. So, the faster we can do certain things, the better. And it's not going to really change much. Everything else on the baseline is absolutely okie dokie. Uh, this game's balancing is actually pretty spot on, honestly. Um, this is fine, this is fine. I could increase the number of nests, but I'm not going to. Because I'm not going to. And there's no reason to, honestly. I want this track to play out, excuse me. And that's the best bit of music this game has. Unfortunately, it's really good. I love that bit. Okay. I'm sorry, but no, we had to do that. It does remind me, there is um, one issue with music. Uh, yeah, you can make some monsters in this. Let that be known. Like, let's just play with this real quick, because I feel like it... Yeah, you could just really make some goofy stuff in this if you sit there and do it. Which, I'm pretty sure, if you are even remotely familiar with this game, oh, you have seen the monsters. Because, why not? Look at this. Look at this craziness. You, you can just go all out if you want. 
This is beautiful. I love crap like this. Just no fucks given whatsoever. Let's give him a big head. Give him. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Give him a long neck, why not? No jaw. Big cheekbones. Small mouth. Look at this. this is, I love how stupid this can get. You can go absolutely ballistic with this if you wanted to. And the game just don't care. And no, we're not saving this. I just, I'm just proving a point here. Oh my god. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this creation. <laughs> like, anytime you're allowed to do this in games. Oh my god, what the fuck? Anyway. Beautiful. As I said, I'm not sitting here that long. Because I can just do stuff. I'll just go with that for now. I don't know if we'll change the name, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm kind of short. As always, big ol' fucking feet. Deal with it. Okay. So here's the thing. I haven't played this game in a minute. And this is one of those games where you need to memorize the hotkeys like immediately. Like, yeah, okay, so right click is not rotate the camera. Yeah, no, it's been a minute. I'm sorry, but I haven't played in like a year maybe? Something like that? And there is a lot of wonderful controls in this game. I remember some things. Like that. We're immediately going to stealth. Where are we? Middle of goddamn nowhere. As the skeletons intended. Now, we're gonna just have to show Bataille, or try. Um, I'll be honest, we might be making a new character really soon. Just because this game is what it is. Um, as far as, like, what's the goal of the playthrough? Initially, what I said was that... I wanted to do um, travel to the Ashlands, which is all the way down here. This is like no man's land, essentially. I think the best way to go about that, instead of just <laughs> rushing towards it, because we could, um, and that's suicide. I think what we're going to do, for the most part, is just fill out every bounty, or uh, collect every bounty. And that ties into that. So I think that's how we're going to go about it. Um, it's not exactly the most um, unique playthrough, but it's a decent enough way to go about things. Now, there is one particular music track in this game, unfortunately, that plays way too loud. And that sucks. So one of the things we are going to do is reduce music volume quite a bit. It may not even help because of the nature of that track and how this game handles its music. It sucks, but that's just the case. There is a lot of good music. Most of the music in this game is just ambient. Or it suits the area you're in, what have you. But I, I have to do that because I have to do that. Auto save every 10 minutes is fine. Um, do I? Is there really anything I want to do here? We are not censoring the game, please. I also, I just, I adore things. Like, look at this. Filters out most of the bad language. If you don't like that sort of thing, ruining your violent blood bath, but bloodbath and slavery experience. I love this game. I adore it. 
I cherish this fucking thing. Um, where Bannerlord started off was like, oh yeah, I like this game, but I'm going to complain a lot. I'm not complaining much in this game. It has its problems, and it's mostly just the engine not being able to run, but it does a better job than Bannerlord. Um, this game doesn't close right, I'll say that. Very rarely will it close without an exception popping up, because whatever reason. But it's fine. Um, so yeah, no, I, I'm not going to be complaining all too much. There'll be things that piss me off, of course, but we, we won't have too much of that. So the first step is just attempting to get to a town, which, let's see, we're facing this way, so we want to look that way, is it? No, that way. Um, as I said, there's a good chance we just die. Because we just die. And we do that, we're just starting a new game on the spot. And same character, yada yada, and we'll, same settings, we'll see how it goes. But, let's get this show on the road. Also, what the heck is, is it the F keys? It is the F keys. As I said, it has been a moment since I've played. And from the gate, yeah, sneaking. We Stealth is your friend. Even though it is the middle of the day, and you can see from my... We have two goddamn skimmer... <laughs> we have two skimmer nests right near us. I believe they're skimmer nests. Let me try to remember how to play the game. Are there no... There are no... Anything in these. Yeah, two skimmer nests right from the gate. I'm assuming they're skimmer nests. They may not be. Can we even tell? No, they're not popping up on the map. That's a skimmer. It is not. It is a rock. <laughs> Get used to that. Ooh, where are we? There we go. Can't you... Yes! Waypoints. As I said, it has been a minute. I have not played in so long, and I need to remember every... I'll, I'll catch up to speed quickly, don't you worry about that. So our first step is just attempting to get to town. That will solve quite a few problems. Because there is constantly shit going on in this game, and you are so inconsequential. The game doesn't give a shit about you. And I think that's probably my favorite part about this game, is it just doesn't fucking care. This game isn't meant for you. You are just in the game. Like, I, 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 I adore this game. And yes, it's going to be slow deal with it. I don't care. This is my freaking. This is happy time for me. Where Bannerlord, I can have my moments of joy, and like, oh yeah, that's cool, and then it'll piss me off two seconds later, and I'm sitting there stewing and just mad. This, this is gonna be happy times. I fucking just love this game. And speed up button is our friend to a degree. We'll see. Maybe not. Oh, Lord. Give me one second. Okay, you can just ignore that. Anyway, where were we? E Yeah, if you saw it, yes, I have friends popping up on the overlay, and I don't like that, so we have to turn that off. Because last thing I need is 
whatever people freaking watching this to go like, I'm going to bug this guy on Steam. No. Maybe at some point. Perhaps. In the future. But not now. Thank you. And we're just like literally frantically staring at Rob. What is it? <laughs> oh, no. This is this is bad. This is what I'm talking about. What are you attacking others? Is that's what you're doing? <laughs> Fuck. So this is a skimmer. Look at this fucking thing. Look at this fucking thing. Oh man. Oh no. Okay. Um. So the problem here is we have very low athletics. <laughs> this might be it. <laughs> run, bitch, run. Oh, no. Yeah, we have very low athletics. Um, can I see my current movement speed? 14 miles per hour. And minus 2 because I'm hungry. What is this thing's movement speed? 14 miles per hour. <laughs> Fuck. We can outrun it, maybe. If we if we go far enough, it will fuck off, hopefully. The problem is, is when one thing sees you and starts chasing you... Okay, we're good, we're good. It fucked off. <laughs> the problem is, is one thing sees you and you have to start booking for it, uh, that gives other things the opportunity to see you. And skimmers are super problematic. It will be a long time before we can even attempt to touch those things. Um, but they are slow, thankfully. The problem is people are fast. And we are currently in the Great Desert. People are the biggest problem. People are typically the biggest problem in this game, but... Yeah, and I'm sorry, I have to. As I said, it has been so long. What button is it? It's... Is it alt? It is alt. Okay. Yes. Because sometimes when you see these little... Because these are like nests. Or what have you. Sometimes that there there's some goodies in here, but... I'm guessing these are skimmer nests, if the game will even note it. No, maybe it's just decoration. I don't know. It could be. Uh, but sometimes, yes, there'll be just goodies in there from all the people who had the misfortune of getting dragged there and eaten. Because this is that kind of game. But anyway, uh, threats. Yeah, Great Desert, skimmers are bad, but you cannot run them fairly quickly. Humans are worse. Uh, this is uh, Slave Land. And that is uh, very easy to become your fate. Especially very early on, is some dude's slave. This is a copper deposit. Those are... Let me pause. And this is one of the big problems with the game. As I said, it... It doesn't crash much, honestly. It, it actually... It is fairly stable. But... It has optimization issues, loading, yada yada, and all that good stuff. Um, it's a game of patience. I'll definitely say that. It's not too bad. But it, it, can, it can get bad. I believe there's, you know, these are nomads. I'm just going to let it load, but... Yes. I believe these are nomads. They look they look like it from a distance. They are. Nomads are cool. They mean you no harm. They just really like animals. It's like their entire deal is animals. Yeah, we're gonna hope and pray that we aren't just imprisoned. Because we just might. We may just walk in, and they may just imprison us, because we're a vagrant. 
Uh, you, you okay, gang? Let's just go here. Close enough. Auto move works to a degree. Pathing is a little iffy. It usually will do what you want it to do. Sometimes it don't. What's going on over here off in the distance? I can't tell. One of our best bets early on is scavenging. Because like I said, there's constantly crap going on in this game. And you're just... You're not important. You're just part of the world. So there's always just going to be a bunch of random stuff happening around you. And early on, you are pathetic, to say the least. You're not worthless, but you are pathetic. Let that be known. But this isn't necessarily a game where strength dictates everything. Uh, this is mostly a game of survival, so you can be fairly weak but get by just fine. If you're lucky. There, there is some luck involved with it. Because you just run into the wrong encounter. You're done. And that's all there is to it. Are these just rocks? These are just rocks. It's a little squirrelier than I'd like. But it's fine. One of the things we want to see. Honestly. Is skimmers. Near the town. That's going to be a big help. Is if we see skimmers near the town, we can get food. Because the samurais will just destroy them. And then we get noms. Where is the main entrance? Okay, we got an entrance there. Do we have... Yes, we do. We're going to go here. What are you guys? You have to constantly pay attention to bounty hunters. We're fine with them. You constantly have to pay attention to who's around you. Like I said, survival game, and yeah, no, keeping your eyes about to see what's going on is like a constant thing. You are never safe. <laughs> Once you get yourself established and have, like, a proper base of operations, you can consider yourself safe, to a degree. To a degree. But typically, you are not. Especially right now, because we're starving, half alive, missing an arm, all that good stuff. And we are just going to attempt to get... Just something. We can't really carry much of anything, but it's fine. We'll carry what we can. If we can just get a few scraps of copper, hopefully they'll let us in. <laughs> and we can do a thing. Maybe. What are you? Starving vagrants. That might be problematic. Let's uh, attempt to not be involved with that. It may be a blessing, it may be a curse. Who knows? We just have to stay out of sight. And hope to God that we're fine. Yes, the beginning of this game is super problematic. Because like I said, you aren't important. And there's a lot of them. So, you know. 
usually what they'll end up doing is like trying to raid the town for food and that's gonna that gets them killed but eh, they didn't skirt close enough to the samurai but it seems like we've did here got away or yeah so they're just heading in this direct we're good Yes, it's just a bunch of hungry people. That is a problem. It's like the looters of Bannerlord, except the looters in this will really fuck you up. Yeah, we should be fine. What's this? Is this just bounty hunters? Yeah, they're just bounty hunters. Police. Bounty Hunters, um, Bone Doggo just chilling. Are these slave traders? <laughs> they are. They're gonna go over here. So they see you in the slightest, they're like, ooh, payday! And they'll just club your ass. Though, I will state, um, being enslaved has its advantages, as bad as that might sound. <laughs> and I'm being brutally fucking honest, unfortunately. Um... Because if you're enslaved, they do take care of you, to a degree. They take care of you well enough to work. Is that the only, is this the only entrance here? I think it is. It is. That kind of sucks. This isn't exactly the place I like to hang out here. And the, and the um, I like Stoat the most. I think, where is it? Yeah, it's here. We'll head here soon enough, but right now it's just we're just trying not to die um, due to starvation, which is not too hard, but it's hard enough. And yes, this is a slow game. I, I told you it was. And yes, we could have picked a save or a start that was, you know, not as problematic. But where's the fun in that? And no, I'm not going to have a torso playthrough ever. Because yes, that's a thing you can do. No. I get it. It's funny. You have no arms and legs and you have to, like, wiggle your way to places. I don't have that much patience. And the the thing is, regardless of the, the concept or what have you, if I make a playthrough or do a thing, I want to see it all the way through. You know what I mean? And I don't... I, I can't. That, I couldn't do that. I'm patient. Not that patient. We have one whole copper. We'll get to the point where we'll try to get as much as we can <clears throat> before our inventory is just gone. That's the goal. And that should be enough to get somewhere. Oh, Lord. I'm just constantly keeping an eye on Horizon. Constantly. So you never know when you're fucked. That's all there is to it. It shouldn't take too long. We need, what, two more? We'll be over encumbered. That's fine. Okay, hold up. Nope, wrong button. 
We don't want the tutorial. What sees us? Ah, fucking dust cloud. Is that just the bone dog of the bounty hunters? That's fine. Yes, it, 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 that is this game. Something saw me. What? What? What saw me? Where is it? It shouldn't be that much of a problem for too long. It's just when you start off and you're starving, um, you can't run. There's a lot of running in this game. Because there's a lot of running in this game. Early on, you you, you, you run. No, I'm just going to say that. No, there's a lot of running in this game. Because there's a lot of times it's like, this engagement is just not worth it. I'd rather not get the dead. Almost there. Okay. One more. And hopefully the guards let us through. They may not. They may say fuck you. Because they may just say fuck you. Because it's a crime to be poor in the Great Desert. That's all there is to it. The Empire doesn't like uh, poor people. And if you're a poor person, that just means you can be a slave. That's fine. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the world we're living in. Okay. There we go. Now. Go ahead and pause. Save. Dirt. Oh no, we have a Mr. Woofer save. Let's just we'll just save there. It is. Okay. Oh dear. And no, I'm not planning on saves coming a bunch. It's just, you know. I'd rather not get completely fucked over. Let's just attempt to go to the bar. Attempt. They may just tell me to go fuck off. I hope they don't. I really don't. They might, though. They might. Let me through, please. Oh, thank God. <laughs> That's all we need. Move along. Thank you. <laughs> that could have just been game over right there. <laughs> okay, so we should be fine. Like I said, don't, don't need a whole hell of a lot to get the game going. Uh, hello! Now then. How much are these worth? Probably not a lot. This... They're actually worth a fair bit. Okay. No, that's really good. They are actually worth a fair bit. Um, what we would want would be this. But we ain't got that kind of cash. What we could do is just grab two of these. And if I recall correctly, yeah, shit don't stack well in this game. So we're going to just get the raw meat for now. Even the raw meat is expensive, because why wouldn't it be? And what we're looking for is just basic clothing. Which I don't know if we actually can get here. Not sure, we'll see. What, what general shop? Bakery. 
That's just a place. We'll check the... this place. Yeah, a little bit of food we got will probably prevent us from you know, completely starving to death. It's fine. It'll be a moment till this bar is green, but it's fine. Do you have clothing or anything of that nature? Got yeah, backpacks. Which are very expensive, of course. Um, I would like that. Ration packs are the best food in the game, but they're expensive. Of course. Yeah, we, we can't afford any backpack of any kind. But we do have medical stuff, so... Isn't there a way to, to constantly have... There is, is there not? As I said, it's been a moment since I've played. I'm pretty sure there's a way to set people up to always do medic stuff if they can do it. What's in an order? There you go. That's how you do it. Yes. So he'll always do medic stuff. That's what we want. Yeah, you, you basically save a, a AI setup or thingy for them. Um, no clothing store here, right? This is hats. We can try to get a hat. Which might be good. What we want is shoes. But... Uh, no. I didn't want to click again. There we go. Well, we want is shoes. Because shoes help you do the run good. And that'd be like the primary thing we'd worry about. Is uh, doing the running good. Hats can be quite useful for environmental effects. Other than that. Eh. Outside armor, of course. Though armor works in a very specific way in this game. We'll see that eventually, and I'll I'll sit there and, and talk about that at length, because I actually really like how the armor works in this game. What do you have, sir? It is just hats. How expensive are they? Quite. Something that helps against dust storms would be fantastic. But I doubt we have the money for anything. <laughs> Probably just gonna get a straw hat or something. Oh, we can get that. That would help for dust, the dust storms. That's probably what we're going for. Yeah. Okay. Have the samurai fucked anyone up recently? It's honestly something you have to constantly ask yourself at the very beginning of the game. Have the samurai just obliterated some poor son of a bitch? But that, we, we're, we're basically done here. We just wanted some food, and we didn't even come across, like, um... Dead things uh, to scavenge. Which is typically how you go about it, but hey. We got unlucky. We managed to do some mining to, to, to scrape by. We'll head to Stout when we can. But I kind of just want to scope the surroundings of uh, everything. Before we head on out. And make sure it's, like, safe to leave. Because it may not be. 
That's the bounty hunter bone dog. Yep, yeah, it is. Merchant caravan or slavers? Nomads. Okay. They should let us leave. They let us in. It's typically getting in that's a problem. Leaving isn't a problem unless you're, like, smuggling or something. Okay. Not bad. We got a hat, food, and some medical supplies. Not too sure how useful the medical supplies are going to be. Because this game is this game. Um, but it may save our lives. Who knows. The main thing right now is just to get nutrition up so we're not starving so we stop Ooh, what do we got going on over here what is this when you see numbers in the horizon <laughs> yes we're a scavenger deal with it But yeah, no, we want to get the negatives from starvation gone as quickly as possible. Once that's good, we should be fine. The only thing we're going to have to worry about is people. But we're going to be very good at the running soon enough. Our best skill is going to be stealth real quick. Believe you. Believe you me. It's, it's, it's stealth is going to be our big boy. It's going to get us through a lot of problems. something to do with slaves. So, that's not great. But if we keep our eye on the situation, we might be able to scavenge something. Okay, this... what? What's going on? Is it Manhunters? It's probably Manhunters. Looks like Manhunters. Yeah, I didn't want to click right there. I don't want to go right up on it. Where is it? There is Starving Vagrant. He's on... Or he or she's unconscious. What is the KO point? Minus 15? 18? Nothing there is, is close enough. So they'll get back up. That's what I mean. Like, the, the world goes on, doesn't give a fuck about you. Head to the numbers, see what's going on. Constantly keeping an eye on our surroundings, make sure we don't have to deal with anything. Stone camp, slave camp. Yeah. Are those rocks? Those are rocks. They could be skimmers. Skimmers uh, buried themselves underground. Manhunters, slavers. Yeah. Skimmer. Who are you? Manhunter. Just hopefully get around him. Skimmer's gonna fuck them up. Yeah, 
Yeah, Skimmer's probably going to take out quite a few. Skimmers are pretty fucking tough. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, they're not touching that skimmer. It's going to just fuck them all up. Unfortunately, um, we're not going to be able to take clothing from the Manhunters because of how this works. The things are automatically, like, linked to a person, or what have you. Uh, faction armor, all that good stuff. So, uh, if you steal someone's clothes, you could do that. But if they're part of the right faction, uh, you'll be brought up in terms of like, oh, well, that's a crime, or what have you, and it will cause problems later on. We're almost to the point where we're not completely starving. Was that a starving vagrant that got out? It was. What a lad. He took down the Manhunter. He's just following his leader, so he should leave us the fuck alone if he sees us, which he probably won't. Because even though our stealth is very low, current uh, dust storm, among other things, is helping us. The fact that it's night, yada yada. Okay. So this kind of worked out in our favor here. Are you concussed completely? He's unconscious. Okay. These are considered faction. We shouldn't... If we take his pants, we should be fine. Yes. No disguise. Uh, do I want his club? I do. I'll take his med kit too. Okay, who else is here? Is that a vagrant? It is. Recovery coma. They're not getting up. Escape slave. Recovery coma. That Manhunter is down and out. They're not getting up. They'll die, actually. Because they're bleeding out through the stomach. And because their stomach's at negative 31, their KO point is uh, minus 27. This means they're not going to get up. Yes. If a part goes below your KO point, you're down. You're down and out. You're unconscious, and you have to recover. Um, that guy's dead unless he gets medical treatment, which, considering there's a few manhunters there, he might. Okay. Uh, we'll take that. And I think we're good. They don't have anything else worth taking. We want shoes, but the problem with the um, Manhunters, their boots are too heavy, because they're having they have like metal boots. We don't want those. What we want are fucking sandals. Believe it or not, is the main thing that we're after. But we're we're doing good, equipment wise. We just need shoes. So, that's good. We should be able to pick some up in stoke. But for now, we are fine. We're going to just head on back to stoke. Or head towards stoke. Oh, 
Also, if I recall correctly, this helps with stealth? Yes, it does. And cloth pants don't help with anything, but hey, pants are pants. Yeah, so we, we want sandals right now. Uh, the wooden sandals, the... the, the what, what are they called? Gata? Those. That's what we want. Because they help you run the good. And that means everything. Fucking love this game. I actually want to, like, head there first. And it was... Look at the clipping. The game don't give a fuck. It's so unapologetic, and I love it. Should have just enough food to get past the starving point. And once we get past that, we'll be having no negatives to movement speed. So we'll be able to fucking run. But... For the most part, early on, this game's all stealth. Just because you cannot afford conflict. And it's going to be a moment until we actually get into that. I think what the idea is going to be is we're going to hang out in the desert for a little while to the point uh, we're more or less equipped with what we need to be equipped with. And we're not going to be able to get a whole lot done, honestly. One of the things I want to do is head to um, Holy Nation Territory. Because we happen to be a uh, human male, uh, we will <laughs> uh, get a, a fair bit of... Um, what you call it? A uh, uh, comfy treatment there, because uh, the Holy Nation are horrible dogmatic racists. Um, but we just happen to be the right kind of person, so that's good. Um, we need a prosthetic arm, and the Holy Nation don't like that, so that would be a problem. If we had the prosthetic arm while ro roaming around there. Uh, not so much if it's in your inventory. They don't, like, they, they, they'll give you some shit. But it's not, meh. If they see you wearing the damn thing, they'll, they'll, uh, ju fucking sickness must be purged. They will just kill. No questions asked, they'll just kill. They just, they, they, they will... Paladins will run up on you, seize your heresy, they'll just fucking kill you. Um, but, if we just chill, honestly, around the, the Holy Nation, as we are right now, as I said, I want to sit around here to get a little bit of gear, but as we are now, if we chill out in the Holy Nation, we can uh, get some shit going. And we'll be fine in that regard. And then we will head to um, the beginner zone of this game, which is the hub. And we'll more or less start there getting everything situated to continue further into the game. I'm so happy to be playing this. You have no idea. It has been... A minute since I've sat back and enjoyed a playthrough of this game. Let's go max speed. We're just about fine. As I can't see a goddamn thing. So we deal with the wonderfulness that is dust storms. Look at that. What is on my screen? All the sand and dust in the world. It's fine. We'll be fine. Hunger is almost positive. We have just enough food. But I know there's a place in Stoke that we can mine, more or less, um, undeterred. And we will be able to get going with that. 
the main thing that we want is we want a ration pack we want sandals and a backpack would be killer because backpacks are good the problem with backpacks though is they fuck your stats because they uh, encumber you the way that they do so it is a it, it backpack it, how you use backpacks is um kind of interesting in this game because they do help with carrying stuff but encumbrance and all that good shit is what it is so what's going to end up happening is um I'm going to get a backpack for the sake of having a backpack. And I can throw a bunch of stuff in there. Food and medical supplies is not going in there. Uh, it's going to be like random shit that I'm selling. If I have to get into a fight, the backpack comes off and I drop it. I deal with the fight and then I pick the backpack back up. Because it is super hard to fight with a backpack in this game. The better Certain backpacks are better. But early on, the negative effects of a backpack just fuck you. Are they just peasant peasants? They are. I can't. I can't. I thought about it for half a second. But I cannot. As they both have a bounty on them, I can't take them in. I'm missing an arm. And because I'm missing the arm, I can't um, pick them up. So it's best to just try to stay out of their sight for now. We should get stealth levels because they're nearby. Isn't there a way to, to see the experience game? Uh, where's stealth? Here it is. Yes. It's just because we're near someone that we're actually stealthing around. We're getting experience towards stealth. Who's that? What sees me? Garu. Okay. That's fine. They're running right by me, aren't they? Yes, they are. These are the cows. Not cows. What? Camels? They're rabbits, honestly. Like they're 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 basically camel rabbits. Yeah, that's what I, how I'd explain them. They're camel rabbits. Uh, these things are cool. They are basically the best pack animal because they're as fast as they are. When you have a herd going by you. You can ignore them, for the most part. Because um, they are herbivores, they don't give a fuck. But they might rear up and try to sniff you out. And if they do that, you just pause and let them sniff you out, and then they'll fuck off. But they're one of the few things that it does. it's just going about its day. It doesn't care about you. We will get into the fauna of this game soon enough. But for now, we're just minding our own business. And there is one particular fauna in this game that anyone who's familiar with this game knows about. <laughs> no, we won't be fucking with those anytime soon. <laughs> no. One of the most horrific creatures to ever exist in the video game, I swear to God.
Oh, God. Fuck those things. You don't know what I'm talking about. You will eventually. <laughs> They're like the gatekeepers of progress at this game, I swear. Okay, so we're actually positive food-wise. That's good. We're actually starting to get hungry, but for now, we're positive. Let's just get this stove, and we'll be hunky-dory. Fucking dust storm. Is this... What is this? It is decoration. That's all this. It's fine. I wasn't sure how far in the distance... De per telling how far something in the, the desert is sometimes could be a real pain in the ass. Uh, I thought, I was, was like, is that the, a camp or something? Or what have you? No. It's just fucking mountains of bullshit. <laughs> um. Yeah, you're dead. You get none, neither of you have shoes. I would like his stick, but if you think I am getting near that, hell no. We're still wandering. Yes, 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 yes. Whenever you see numbers, you should investigate. There's a huge swarm of skimmers. Yeah, they just fuck you up and leave. They don't care. They just don't like you. What sees us? What are you? Western Hive. I'm thinking about it. Do I, do I want to cross paths with them or not? They mean you no harm, but they want your money. I don't have money, and the fact I don't have money bodes poorly in that regard. I'm just gonna go this way. We're near Stoke, so I'm gonna try to loop around these skimmers. And we should be fine. I can outrun them now, no problem. So I'm not too worried about that. Initially, it could have been a problem. Is it just the Western Hive? It's just the Western Hive. If I stay far enough away from them, I won't have to deal with their wonderful little scheme. But... These skimmers are probably going to die. So let's just keep following them. Because it looks like they're marching towards Stoke. So there's going to be a nice little war in a minute. They are. They're going to collide with Stoke. They're on their own little um, migration path. They're not particularly aiming to fuck shit up. They're just going about their day. But their path is going to lead them straight to some samurai. And the samurai are just going to kill them on sight. Or attempt to. So that means a lot of food for us. If we're smart and stay out of the fray. And can manage to keep out of the fray. That'd be smart. Yeah, this is a gate. And they're headed right towards it. They're charging. I think. Yes, they are. Okay. Yeah, so the samurai are going to fuck up those skimmers. They may not kill them all. The skimmers might actually run into the town and do some damage, we'll see. But that means food for us. And claws. 
I think they drop claws too. Yeah, here they go. It'll be a minute till we're fast enough on our feet to not be super duper slow when stealth, but that that's going to take it, its time. It'll get there. We'll get to the part where we're Naruto running uh, everywhere. It's fine. They got most of them. Is this getting up anytime soon? No. Can't see a damn thing, but it's fine. Now, when it comes to animals, as you can see, they have raw meat, foul meat, and for skimmers, they have claws. So we're going to take... Oh, dang. I did it wrong. As I said, it's been a minute since I played. Okay. So, with animals, the moment you take meat from them, or, like, a part of them, they die. It just kills them. What is the... It's right-click. Like I said, it's been a minute since I played. So, yeah. With people, you have to have, um either massive negative and blood or one of your core parts to die so head chest stomach limbs don't matter you can die due to a limb loss but that's only because of the blood loss that comes with it if you take too much damage in one of the cores and you're at like i think for humans it's typically minus 100 it's typically like minus um your base, or half of your base, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, gone forever, rest in peace. Uh, that's when you die. So you can go negatives and it won't kill you, it will just knock you out. With animals, you can harvest their meat, and what have you, and that will kill them outright. There is no way to do this with humans. Okay, yeah, so the western hives here. I'm just gonna... Ignore them. Go over here for a bit. Like, the Western Hive, they're not mean or anything like that. What they do is they, they try to sell you a lantern, basically. And it's just a lantern. And if you refuse to buy said lantern, they get insulted. And they will attack. Because <laughs> they insulted you, insulted them. Because that's how this game works. Fucking manhunters. I need to a avoid them. Because, yeah, slave traders. Who are you? Caravan drone. Just. <laughs> Desperate struggle, that is. Avoiding the danger of this game. I'm encumbered, that's the problem. Yeah. It's fine. We just harvest everything we can from these skimmers. We will be hunky dory. Are they getting up anytime soon? Unconscious. 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 Okay, so we're we're hunky dory here. Who sees me? That guy. That's the drone, is it not? Yeah, it's, we're fine. Yes, always have to be worried about who sees you. That's not the right button. It's right click. <laughs> God dang it. Okay. And the skimmer. It's just a hunk of bullshit.
bullshit there. What we mostly want right now is the claws. The meat's going to have its use in a second, but the claws will want. It goes for a decent amount, but we're not going to worry too much about that. Now, if memory serves, there is a copper deposit somewhere right around here. It's right there. Yes. No, it's iron. Either way, that works. Who are you? Escape slaves. In other words, not a, nothing I have to worry about. Let's see. Build menu. Yes, camping. We want a campfire. Can we place it anywhere near here? You can't place too close to towns. But we can put it there. Okay. So we'll go there. Mer. Did that actually build it, or... Because I don't think you have to actually physically build a campfire. Yes. And then confirm. There we go. As I said, it's been a minute since I played. Yeah, they should leave us alone. In fact, that they're the fact that they're there might mean I can do some goofy stuff with them, which would help. But for now, we'll ignore them. This is just going to be our little camp for the time being. Yes, hunger's kicking in again, but it's fine. Now. Yes, we should be able to put five in. Yes. go. Get our noms. And I'll grab one more. Yes. Okay. So that's taken care of. Let's head back into Stoke. Well, let's actually head into Stoke, <laughs> since we've just been on the outskirts of the place. Come on, game. There you go. It has its freezes, but it's usually pretty good about getting through those freezes. You just have to give it time. With all these negatives. Yeah. We're gonna need an uh, arm soon. What's seeing us? Is it, is it just these guys? It is not. What is this? Empire Bear. Oh. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. Please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. I'm I'm awake now. I made I'm getting the fuck out of your way, good sir. Ignore a lowly drag such as myself. <laughs> God damn it. 
damn it. Uh... I mean you no harm, sir. Leave me alone. Now that we're wearing some clothing, they should leave us the fuck alone. Yeah. It's just like when you're naked and just completely like you're just wearing shoes or rags or whatever, they're like, what the fuck are you? And then they give you shit. But we should be fine. The samurai should leave us the fuck alone from now on. Should. If a noble wants us dead, then we're fucked. But other than that, we should be fine. Yeah. Give me the meat. Yeah, the skimmers just ran in town and caused all sorts of trouble. Um, where are we heading? Armor shop? We're going to the armor shop. Let's go to the bar. I like going to the bar to sell off my loot. Like, animal parts and stuff. But, yeah. Now that we're, we're kind of clothed, and not absolutely starving, we should be fine hanging out in the Empire towns anyway. In towns, we're fine. Outside of towns, it's uh, I'm fair game. Because nobody knows me, and I'm just a walking sack of meat. So. As long as I'm in a town, I'm fine. What I want to do is get, like, 5k up. If I can get 5k cats, we should be fine. It won't take too long to do that. I may basically just want a basic uh, robotic or, or cyber, not what it, prosthetic arm. That's the word. And we'll go from there. How much is this? The uh, 13k. I like buying the little houses, and, and I like I like this place in particular. I like Stoat. Okay, is there anyone here? that we care about. Okay, so there's there's a drifter. What's up top? Is there isn't that page up? It's page up. Oh, those are just the hive. Shinobi, Shinobi, yes. Bounty hunter. And that's the Shinobi. What the hell am I looking at here? Why am I... Oh, god dang it. It's because of the, um... The, 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 the campfire. Uh, isn't there a way to stop that? I think there is. Where is the campfire? Should be it. It's the other entrance, isn't it? Which entrance is it? That's right, there's three here. Yeah, so campfire should be there. Isn't there a way? Come on. There we are. No. Is it under options? It's under AI, isn't it? Ditch items. We will stop that for now. Okay, so what he was trying to do is because you can have a city built up and all that good stuff. Um, because he has the raw meat in his inventory, his AI was saying, oh, you could put your raw meat into the campfire. Um, it, the AI works as best as it can, but it has its moments like that, where it's like, wait, what the fuck are you doing? It works. It's goofy, but it does work. For now, we're just going to keep that... Um, option disabled just so we don't do that 
the the city building AI setup kind of wonks out when you're in a town, but it's fine. Uh, use this. Okay. So, we should get a decent amount for all these claws. Isn't there... Am I thinking of something else? No. No, it is just... Yeah, you do each one. Okay. And we're at 2k. It doesn't take too long. Uh, we'll sell this, right? Can we, we... You don't care, right? You don't care. Because if you try to sell stolen things from certain people, they'll be like, Hey, you stole this from... You know what I mean? But uh, these guys, they don't care. That we took it from uh, Manhunters. Is there a exploration shop here? I think there is. Think. I could be wrong. Not seeing it. There's a general shop or a farm shop, I would say. There is not. We're going to just deal with the raw meat for now. Or the, the cooked meat as our food source. It's fine. We'll head back to Shabatai in a bit anyway. Because they have ration packs. Um, we need to go, I believe, to Heft. And we can get our arm there. And we'll be fine with that. I could get a Hyber arm... But they're terrible, so I'm not going to bother. I'm going to just try to get an actual prosthetic arm when I do that. And let's see what we can get in terms of this. Yeah, they won't buy it for a whole lot, but... Do you have shoes of any kind? No, you don't. That stinks. I was hoping for something there. Uh, shirt would be decent, but they're expensive, are they not? Yes, they are. I kind of want to keep the samurai cloth pants. Drifter boots? No, they kill stealth. Yeah, I, I specifically want the, um... Wooden sandals. Yeah, none of this is, is worth grabbing. This would be very good, but I don't got the money for it. Yeah, no, there there's certain clothing that's it's very good for reasons. And yeah, ninja cloth is one ninja rags is one of them. There are mods that make certain things into shirts and stuff. Oh, I love them. Like, if you can get... There's there's one that makes, like, the Ninja Rags into a shirt. Because, to be fair, it's not, like, actual armor. It should be a shirt. Uh, the problem with that, though, is because it gives you the stats that it does. If you wear it underneath, um, yeah, no, it's actually very good and busted. And there's, like, a general shop. There's a farm shop. I don't think the general shop would have... Is this the farm shop or general? This is a general shop. We'll check there. They might have something we care about. They might have ration packs. It's been a minute. Much like Bannerlord, this game's one of those things where it's like, Was that a mod or is that the base? You know what I mean? We'll see. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Hello? What do you got? No. Okay, it is just trade goods. I mean, that's fine, but... Okay. So we're going to head back to our little camp. And we should be left alone. Hopefully. Where was it? It's over here, is it not? 
it's over here. Were there any other skimmers in here? That was the one we looted. But is there any more in here? There might be. As the game freezes. You can do it. There you go. And yes, there's a good portion of the freezing and all that good stuff is because it's my computer. I think that was the only one. That looks like it's the only one. It is. It's fine. But we'll head back to our camp, uh, grab the meat there, and honestly thinking about it, eh, how much, I, I'm, I'm trying to comprehend how, like, like, uh, determine how long I want to actually sit there and mine. I think it'd probably be better off to head back to Shaobatai, honestly, to mine. Because the copper went for quite a bit. Went for like 180, was it? Something like that. And we got fighting going on. Over there. Let's, uh... Who's fighting what? You can do it again. There you go. Here it is. What is this? It is just a Garu... Rebel Farmers? Rebel Farmers. We might be able to pick something up for that. So where is my... Uh, come on, game. Come on. You could do it. There you go. Nope, that, that was kind of that. <laughs> game. There you go. Okay, so we're somewhere around here. Game? Come on. It's locking my, uh... Yeah, okay, so here's our camp. Yeah. That's it, right? Yes. What are you? Noble. Well, let's just go ahead and stealth right now, then. You can do it, game. I believe in you. <laughs> yeah, it keeps locking my camera turning, and then... Yeah, there. Nope. Yep, uh, uh, there we go. Yeah, that's just the samurai seeing me. Bunch of rebel farmers fighting a bunch of Garu. So there's a good chance those Garu are going to fuck up a few of the farmers. And those farmers most certainly have the sandals I want. So that's cool. So we'll just go ahead and dump off the raw meat that we have, grab our dried meat, and then pop over and see what the farmers are doing. I might be tossing a mod in this to, to go ahead and remove the sandstorms. Not their effects, but the or or, or the the stuff that they do to gameplay, but just the, the visual effects of the the sandstorms. So one, I can see. Two, the game's not rendering the bullshit. <laughs> Uh, 
anything to help performance up, I, I, I will attempt to do. <laughs> and as we sneak our way over here to whatever the hell is going on here. There actually may be enough of the rebels to just kill the Garu, but... You know, it only have been like one or two Garu. But someone might be down. Because even though Garu are basically just uh, rabbit camels, they can fuck you up well enough. Nah, they killed the Garu. There might be one of them that's just on the ground, though. But I think they just swarmed the damn thing and beat it to death with their sticks and katanas or whatever the hell they have. It's just the Garu, is it not? Yeah, it's just the Garu. I fucked its leg all up. And something that will benefit us a lot, honestly, is uh, getting our own Garu just to follow us around and carry shit. Unfortunately, Garu are terrible in terms of being stealthy, but hey, what you gonna do? Yeah, they might have taken some of the food, some of the raw meat, but I know for a damn fact they left the leather. Actually, they didn't take Jack because it was still alive. Yeah. So we're gonna take its leather. And we'll take the leather from this one. If the game will allow. <laughs> it's fine. Huh? Come on. There we go. Okay, they took the food from this one. This one's dead, is it? Yeah, they took they they took the meat from it. And we can grab the raw two raw meat from that one. The great desert, the great lag. One of the things that really sucks in the game is vanilla is shit barely stacks. You need backpacks and shit to make it stack. It's fine. No, I'm not changing that. One of the mi basically one of the best mods for this game is um, general modifications, and it overhauls so much that like you'd honestly be surprised just how much it overhauls, and. There isn't, like, anything really particularly bad that it does. It's probably one of the best mods for this game, honestly, all, all things considered. Um, but Kenshi doesn't really need mods. They make the game better, but it doesn't necessarily need them, if you know what I mean. It It's one of those things, I think, honestly, it stands strong enough by its own without being modded. It's it, it doesn't require mods to make it fun. It is definitely a niche little title and its own little thing that only certain people are going to be interested in. But it it's strong enough by itself that it doesn't need to be modded to make it much like much more interesting. Very much its own little world, and I just fucking adore adore that. All right, toss those in there. Grab this. Grab the one that cooks. Head back into town. Yes. I just recently ate, did I not? Yes, I did. Who are you? Manhunters. We'll go here. 
And is this the hive? It is the hive, so we can ignore them. If they try to scam us, I'll, I'll show you what that's about, and we're going to have to get scammed, but they shouldn't. Make way for their... Oh, yeah, that, that wonderful wave of just angst is, is still in town. Great. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to throw something in for dust storms. Because that's one of the things that's causing problems. Okay, we're good. Head to the bar. It's not this way, it's over here. This is the one music track that gets just too goddamn loud for no reason. It should be fine, because we have music as low as we do. And if I recall correctly, it's the only track that does it. But that drone gets so loud, it's unreal. I don't know why. Like the rest of the music is fine and doesn't do it. That it that is it is the only track, and it's a desert track, so you hear it fairly often. And, like there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that drone is so loud. But I think we're good with the the volume that it's set at. And like you can tell, the music has been very quiet throughout this entire thing. Cause it's what we have it set at, but that actually still kicked up. It's because it's it, like I said, it just gets that loud. I don't know why. Yeah, leather is very good. Yeah, it sells for a lot. I figured it would. Yeah, so we're almost already at 5k. I think an arm might be 10k, which would suck. But, oh well. Do I want to buy the meat wrap? Um, honestly, yes, I do. That will serve us for quite a while. Because due to how food works, as you can see, like, the meat here, nutrition is 5, or 15, right? So what that means is when you eat this, it will fill hunger by 15. And then hunger will start going back down. Um, the meat wrap we have has a nutrition of 50. So if we ate it now, we'd go up to 290 hunger, and then it would start, go, start to go down. So what you want is food with very high nutrition like so the food cube is 75 I think the ration packs 100 125 something like that and it doesn't cost much more than a food cube uh, food cube it's also very small and compact in your inventory that's why it's a ration pack um, the higher the nutrition they will only eat so much of it I think you need 30 nutrition which is like the bread and that's considered like a meal. Any more than that, they'll eat only so much. So like these are fifty, so when next time he eats, this white bar will go down. And that's like the quality or the the uh, percentage of the item remaining. Like, for example, you see the same white bar on the medkit. 
So right now, it currently has max charges. Uh, as we use it, the charges will go down, and that's that white bar. Uh, food works on a similar sense. Obviously, uh, it doesn't have the, the charges there, but it works in that degree. The ration pack is good for like three to four meals, where this is going to be two, I think. But, yes, so next time we'll continue scrapping or er, scavenging from that Garu, cook all the meat, probably sell it, head back to Shao Batai, um, maybe grab the uh, uh, square backpack they have, I forget what it's called, Traveler's Pack, something like that. Use that to stockpile the ore and junk that we're mining basically just do that till we have enough money to buy a proper prosthetic arm but yeah if you've been here this entire time i don't know why but thank you and i will see you next time